Hi everybody and welcome to my studio. My name is Lana and I am an acrylic artist so thank you so much for stopping by and to paint with me today. We're going to be painting something really fun today. I cannot wait to share it with you so let's take a look at it. We're going to paint this ship in a bottle. I love how this turned out, that thick glass look. Um, just a beautiful, beautiful painting and uh, you can change this up in so many ways. You can add a water lily in here, which I did on a much larger piece and um, I also changed it up by turning it upright like this as a bottle and uh, painting roses in it. That is the painting that's right behind me, right back here. And um, it's that same bottle, only standing up with roses in it. So there's a lot of versatility with this one. Um, so many things you can do with it. Put whatever you want in there. You could put pebbles and succulents growing in there. I mean, just uh, lots of options to go with this one. Uh, it's going to be a really fun design. I'm going to be using DecoArt Americana acrylic paints. and um, But you can use whatever acrylic paints that you have on hand. It's going to be fun. Um, if you have not yet subscribed to my YouTube channel, please hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you're notified every time I post a video. Please like, share, and comment on my videos. It all helps my channel to grow and I appreciate every single one of my subscribers. So if you're ready, let's grab our paints and supplies and let's get ready to paint. Okay, uh, let me tell you how I've got my surface prepared here. So this is a 9 by 12 surface. My original was painted on a 10 by 10, so either size will work. I prefer that you do it on wood because we want our water to be smooth and our uh, the way our jar looks to be smooth. And if you use a canvas, you'll want to really get that canvas smooth with some gesso so that we can have a nice smooth surface to work with. So we are going to uh, first apply a coat of multi-purpose sealer which I have already done with a foam damp foam roller, two inch foam roller. Okay, I've applied that already and then I just squeezed out the excess um, multi-purpose sealer. It doesn't hurt if it stays in there at all. And then I applied two coats of gray sand. We are using DecoArt Americana paints on this project. So two coats and I have my background ready to go. I think I'm gonna grab a sanding pad real quick and lightly sand this. Because when we use a roller, sometimes it gives the surface just a slight bit of texture. And I want a really smooth surface here. So then you're going to take your uh, line drawing and put it onto tracing paper and lay it on your surface where you want it. That looks pretty good. And then take some gray graphite and we are going to outline the jar shape, the boat, the cork, Oops, I want this in. I'm using a medium sized stylus in the smallest end of it and then we want to have where our water lines are. So I'm just going to start right here on this edge and carefully follow my, my um, jar shape. We want this line on here and this line and this line so we can kind of know where our areas are going. Let's see where I stopped here. I stopped right here. Finish out my jar shape. And this line we don't really need at the moment. I'm just putting it on so you can see all the parts that you'll need to have on this project, but we'll be painting right over that line. No worries. All right, so I need a water line. I'm going to do this a little bit lightly through here. And then I'm going to put our boat. Mm 
and our mast sails. I don't even know if this is a proper kind of boat. I just drew one out real quick. And then whatever that stuff is. Let's look and see if we've got all of our important lines and it looks like we do. So we can see where everything's going to be going. We don't need details, all these little lines that are in here. That's just so you kind of know where you're going. But all that stuff we do not need transferred on here. So do not transfer all that stuff. Okay, we're going to start painting on this. So we have a pretty limited palette here for this design. Where that white paint came from. I'll find this stuff on my surface. Oh, I just took the paint off there. Okay, so um, limited palette on this one. We're going to be using gray sand. Of course, we have that in the background. Cobblestone. Snow white and lamp black. Um, Royal Navy, Ultramarine Blue, and Laguna. Okay, those are the colors we're using in this design. So we want to start by, um, uh, actually we're going to start by base coating in our cork. Okay, so we want to apply a cobblestone to our cork. And I think I'm going to take an eraser and just erase this jar line back a little bit. We'll paint over it and we won't even end up seeing it, but I'm just going to take it off mostly and grab a decent sized brush so we don't have to work so hard. A big flat brush. I'm going to move my water over a little bit closer to me. I've got it over a little bit far. Okay, wake your brush up with water. Lay each side on the paper towel so it wicks out the excess water. Paper towel, wick it out. Wick it out. Okay, you're ready to go. And let's just paint this cork in. Cobblestone. up to your graphite lines. Okay, that looks pretty good. We want to let it dry and then we'll just put like a wash of color over that to kind of fill in any gaps that we need to. some uh, colors and textures onto it. I won't be using that brush again. Well I will to put a wash on it so I'll keep it handy real quick. But I need to get this dry so I'm going to go off camera and do that. Okay I'm just putting my second wash on here. This is really just a thin layer. Uh, you don't need to do it if you feel like you've got good coverage, but I don't want to see any of that background coming through. Not that we will see any of it anyway by the time we get done putting all of our layers on here. Okay. I'm going to let that dry.
Okay, now on my original one, I um, did a technique to begin this um, cork that required glazing medium. You don't have to use this. If you want to just use water and you can work fast enough to do this, then you can do it. But um, I'm going to use glazing medium and then I've got some pieces of just a shopping bag on here. So I'm going to put some glazing medium out on my palette and that seems awful thin, glazing medium. And then we need um, some black. Yeah, black. Our cobblestone that we already have out. A little bit of sand gray. Some white. And we're going to put these colors on our surface here. So what I'm going to do first is apply some glazing medium on here. This is some of the thinnest glazing medium. It's the end of the bottle, so I think that's why it might be so thin. Normally it's not quite this thin. Okay, I'm going to wipe my brush and grab a little bit on the corner of my brush of some lamp black and just tap that on there. I want to work while this glazing medium is wet, so I'm going to put some white on there on the other toe of my brush and some uh, the background color. I can already see I'm going to need some black up here. A little bit of background color. And a little bit of our color that we based in our cork with. And you want to move fairly quickly here. So I'm going to lay this over it. And then I'm going to try and scrunch it up. It didn't work so well the first time either. But it started out my texture the way that I thought it would make it look um, really good as I add as I built more layers up on it. But I do want to kind of squish it and move that plastic on the cork. If you get it on your background, don't worry. It's a solid color background, so you can come in and clean that up. I'm kind of rubbing and flattening those colors out a little bit. And you can see where it kind of blended it good and where it didn't blend it very good. Okay. I'm just going to go in here with a damp brush and clean up some of this stuff. my white eraser just blot that away okay so I know it looks super crazy messy but I don't want you to worry too much about that. Um, we can repeat this step with the plastic and go out farther, but I have to get this dry before I do that. So let me grab my dryer and dry. Okay, I really think when I uh, teach this project, I am going to leave the glazing medium step completely off. So I'm gonna spritz my palette with some water. I always have clean water on the side of my palette. When I need to thin something down or grab some clean water, it's right there, easy to get to, and I don't have to get more than I need. All right, I'm gonna tap this in here. I think this is how I'll show to do it for class because this, I think, will be a little bit easier. And we're gonna wet blend all these colors, wipe my brush off. I definitely want to rinse some of that black out of there. I'm going to go into the color that I based it in and tap this in and blend it. So 
I'm just going to take that step out of my directions that says to use glazing medium. You can still do it that way if you want. I mean, it gives us a nice start, just a fast little foundation underneath there. Wipe my brush off. I'm going to go into some white now. I'm going to tap some and use that water edge of my brush because I just loaded it on one corner. And I'm just going to move it around. Okay, I'm going to grab some of our background color and put just a little bit of this in here. Wipe my brush off and I'm going to come back and blend that out. I'm going to come back with some more black because I really want some more black in there. And I'm going to tap it in and then kind of scrub it. Just keep layering it until you get a cork look that you like. I want some more white in here. I want to go all the way out to my edge, so we have our background color is a solid color, so if we go past that edge out there, it's not a huge deal. Okay, I'm gonna go with our base color here. And that's looking pretty quirky, I think. Not quirky, but quirky. A little bit more black in through here. And you have to be careful with those colors underneath are still wet. It's going to muddy up your black a little bit. I just want to see a little bit of that black kind of up on top. I mean on the surface top, not like on the top. Okay, I think that is got our cork pretty good. Um, I'm going to let it dry. I think I might come back in and tap a little bit more lighter colors in there so it's not quite so dark. But um, I think that's a good start for us right there. Okay, I want to put a few more lighter colors on here. This is dry, so I'm going to take my background color on one side and my base color that I did the cork on the other side. And I'm going to tap some of these colors in here. I want to get a little bit of water. And I'm just going to lighten some of that cork up. And I think that's going to be pretty good for our cork, although I do want to put a little bit of color out here on this edge. I feel like it kind of got missed. black on one side and then that sand gray on the other side or um, not sand gray you could have the other color the uh, cobblestone I couldn't think of it I'll spit it out in a minute so that should complete our um, cork right there I think um, that's going to be good enough because when we come back and shade and put the glass over it it's going to be Okay, let's start adding some colors in our glass back here. So you're going to want to use a uh, round brush for this. I'm going to get a couple of sizes. 
Um, I'm going to grab a one. And that might be a three. A two and a four would be good sized brushes to have for this. Um, decent brushes. Brushes that can make some nice lines, but not ones that you have to, you don't want to have a lot of them. My brushes are just like shot. I need some new brushes. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and wake these brushes up. I'm not really sure which ones I'm going to use, so I'm just going to get all of their bristles loaded with water. And we want our black and our white and our cobblestone. We also want navy. We're pretty much going to have all of our colors out on our palette now to do all of these um, steps. And we're going to go back and forth and bounce around between these colors, mix colors. Your, ooh, your colors will probably look completely different than my colors. So, um, just go with it. Um, you're using the same colors I'm using, but you might have a little bit different value in yours. Oh, that's still not shook up well. It should be like a raised puddle, not a flat spreading out puddle. It's a little bit better, but not a ton. Okay, so we want to start with a little bit of a um, grayish color. So we're going to take our cobblestone color here that we base coated our cork in with, and we're going to mix a little bit of black in with it. I'm going to get some water in here. And we just want to slightly darken it. We want it darker than that. So if you're I, I want you to add a tiny bit of black at a time. Just kind of sneak up on that color. And make sure that it looks darker than that color, but not as dark as that color. So I'm going to put a little bit more out here because I know I'm going to need more than this. And I want some water in here to thin it down. We want some nice flowy consistency. Get the excess moisture out of my brush. And we're going to start here and start adding some lines on our glass area. This one right here is going to be a little bit darker. So I'm going to get a little bit of black to here. Wipe that off and go back to my lighter color get my original where I can see it so I can see where I put these colors a little bit more moisture and we want some thin lines in here don't make them too thick stay up on the tip of the brush and just start we don't want to fill this in so don't go crazy but if you stay up on the tip you can move fairly quickly through this design put a little bit of darker stuff right there just by giving a little scrub a little scrub because my my brush is um got quite a bit of water in it okay let's see i want to add um, i think i'll go with this darker add a little bit more of the lamp black in here too much moisture in my brush here to get it a little bit darker I'm going to add some of this over here. And some out here. A little bit darker through here. This is just laying in color values 
to give us the look of glass. So I don't want you to be stressing out about how this is looking right now. It's our ugly stage, but please do not fill in your entire glass here. few up here. Okay, I'm going to wash my brush. Well, I didn't really need to wash my brush because I want to dirty mix some color here. So I'm going to go into my navy and create a little bit of a dirty mix with this. You can add just a tiny bit of Dove Gray into it. I'm not sure uh, my instructions, we want kind of a gray blue and I, I may not be following exactly, you know, how I did this, but um, we're still going to be using all these colors. So it's okay if they come at different times, not a problem. I definitely need more water. here we're going to start adding some like this is like some movement in the glass so we just want to create a little bit of wiggle stuff going in there and this one the color values may turn out completely different than my other one and that's okay so it makes it more fun everything doesn't have to be exactly the same just don't want you filling up the whole end. I'm going to pull some longer ones through here now. Maybe one a little bit darker right there. Okay, then we're going to go work on this area. through there. Okay. Oh, let's see. Um, I can grab a little bit of ultramarine blue maybe mix my two blues together and some cobblestone and it down just a little bit whatever mix you create is going to be just fine it doesn't have to be identical to mine but you do want to have some different values of these colors of your grays and your blues blue grays more of the ultramarine in there a little bit darker through there and everybody's glass will look different, so. Because of where you put your lines and everything. I 
but I really want you to stay up on that tip and this is lots of layering on this project I want to add some darker gray now Just mix some gray and some uh, some black and some white. I want a little bit darker stuff going on in here. These are all just reflections of everything that's in the glass. Is all it is. be using these colors in the water as well because this is reflecting our water so Stay with in, inside your lines there. Don't, don't let them get too wild and crazy. I think we're going to start adding some white and getting some light colors in here. So let's add some white in here. Definitely want to send your white with your clean water. Just a little bit here and there. We have to come back and add another layer of color in here. We definitely want to make sure that our layers stay light. I think I've got mine a little bit dark on this one. So make sure that you are keeping your layers light. If you feel like you're just getting way too much color in here that you don't like, you can come back with your, your background color and take some of this out. So don't feel like you can't adjust. Okay, just a few more strokes. Oh, that's a big stroke of white. Up on the tip, keep these nice and thin. Okay, I'm gonna let that rest a little bit. Um, I need to add a little bit of They want to look like they're connected there. They didn't look like they were connected. Okay. 
I think we're going to let that dry. We're going to work a little bit down here and then we're going to come back and add another layer onto uh, the bottom edge. Okay, we're going to mix some white and a little bit of black. I want to make a gray color. I'm going to mix quite a little bit of this. I want a light gray. Or a medium medium gray might, might work best. So let's go for a medium gray here. Okay. We're going to put this medium gray kind of down in here. It needs to be just a touch darker. Down in here. A little bit of water in my brush. I want this messy and scumbly down through here. Nothing. I don't want anything to look perfect or anything like that. So no perfection here. this up in here. A little bit more along this edge here. Don't make it too thick or too opaque. We want to, um, we want it, I don't, I don't want it to be crazy opaque. But um, I'm going to grab a little bit of blue here real quick. Kind of add some of that in there. A little bit of gray. Some around this edge here. I'm going to put a little bit up here. So we got a, a nice light uh, or medium gray in there. So I think we're going to mix a little bit darker gray now. Okay, so I'm going to take add a little bit more white and some more black. Get it a little bit darker. A darker gray is what we want now. And this is going to go right through here. And I'm just going to bring it down through here. This is the, the thickest area of it. I'm going to tap in a bunch of dark areas on here. black in there. So I'm cross down here. We've got water in our mix. This is thin. Don't let it get too carried away. This is a part of the jar that's kind of curved around so I'm going to make some little wavy lines there. They could be a lot thinner than what those are. Some more little dibby dots. A little bit up here. I'm going to add a little more white to it now. Make it not quite so dark. And put some of this up here. It's a long water edge up here. Maybe just a touch back here. Let's put some dark gray here. Starting to form the shape of the jar a little bit. This is all literally going to look like a mess until the very end. I mean, it is just, just a mess. A little bit more black in there. Okay, 
I need to mix some more here, I think. I'm not getting enough on my brush. Water. This is really dark down here at the bottom. Remember, if you lose your jar shape, we can come back and add that back in. Okay, that's looking pretty good. I'm going to put a little bit of this darker stuff right here on the edge. here. Reflecting the cork now in these areas. Okay. How are we doing? Everybody doing good? It's going to be amazing. Do not worry about it. It's going to be great. Ugly stages, they're hard to get through. Okay, I'm going to go to my bigger round brush now. And let's see. Um, actually, I'm going to go back to this one because I want to add some blue-black blue, uh, blue -black color down in here. So I'm going to take some ultramarine blue and some black and mix that together. We want this blue-black color here. Okay, and we're going to put some of this down in here, maybe a little bit bluer. Oops, I'd like to be on camera, wouldn't you? I'm still just doing little tapping motions, wiggling motions. a few of these little blue taps in here. Not as many as we did on the gray. Put a little bit of this at the water's edge. Um, let's see, where else do I want to go? I'll put some of this over here. And a little bit out here. Okay. I want a little bit more of this down here. good for that color. Now we want to add some Laguna and Lamp Black in here. So let's grab some Laguna and Lamp Black. Make this dirty green color. Dirty teal color, I guess. And we're going to add a few lines of this in here. We're going to keep this color mostly down here on the lower part. I don't want to put it up on the upper part. Okay. 
Okay, I think that's that's probably pretty pretty good down there. So we're gonna get ready to put our first wash of water in. So now I'm gonna switch over to my four round. Let's see. Um, we're gonna wash in some Laguna into the lower part of the water. We want this really sheer. I mean this is seriously a wash. This is just tinting water. And we're going to put this down here in the lower part of the water. Remember this is just our first layer And in the upper part of the water, we are going to uh, do ultramarine blue. A wash of this, we want sheer layers here. Maybe just a tiny bit more paint in there. If we get too dark, we don't have anywhere to go. Just go right up to your line that you drew in there. Okay, I don't feel like my line is straight across here. Dark enough there. We just want to make sure that that line goes straight across. And I think it needs to come up just a little bit. Okay, so that's our first layer of water on there. Super easy peasy. It's coming along. All right, while I have this bigger brush here, I want to start adding the form of the jar up here a little bit. So I'm going to take some ultramarine blue, maybe a little Laguna mixed in with it. going to lightly start adding maybe a little bit darker than that. I'm mixing the two. I don't know if I have this instruction on my... I want this to be light and that's pretty dark so I'm going to take my finger and rub that and take it down. I don't want this to be crazy super dark here. And just give us our form of our jar starting, okay? You can go in at this point and erase graphite lines. I'm not going to because I haven't come all the way out to the edge of my jar yet and I don't want to lose that shape. But now would be a good time and right down here I didn't get all the way to the shape of my jar. But um, you can go in and erase some. You can also go in, in in here and add some clouds in the background. My original one, I did that, but uh, when I got done, I didn't like the clouds inside the jar at all, so I just took my background color and painted over them. Easy as that. So, um, this should not be a stressful project. You're just making lines and having fun. So, let's go in and start adding a second layer onto the back here. So, um, well, let's see. I think we're going to finish our cork first because my instructions say to do it next and I'm trying, my, I had my instructions typed out to go a certain direction. So we're going to start shading on the cork. So we're going to take some black 
and we want to thin it down with some water in our brush. Make it very sheer. And we're going to work on shading our cork on this side for sure. Walk it into the cork a little bit. This is a very sheer wash. It is not very dark. I want to put some on this corner here. You go out past your cork edge, clean it up with the water edge, or take your base coat and cover that back up. This is very sheer right here. Nothing thick or heavy. I want some up here on this edge. And I'm going to start creating a little bit of an edge here that we can start highlighting. Just with that sheer color. So we know where our jar is going to be. Our glass is going to be coming across right here, coming down. Okay, so we can just lightly add a little bit. I'm going to get some water. Smooth that out. We don't want that very dark. Just a little bit. And then the width of it is going to be about here. So we can add a little bit of this here. I'm going to wash my brush out because I don't want that being crazy thick line. I just want, actually I'm going to take that off completely because I didn't like how that turned out. I might wait till I paint in my my line there. That's a lot of water. And that is really a little bit darker than what I want, so I'm going to erase that. A little bit of water. Light scrubbing with my eraser, and that's going to take that right off. Most of it. Oops. Don't erase too hard, you'll go all the way down to your base color and you will not be happy. Um, I want to bring this up farther though. I want it a little bit darker on that outer edge out here. So a little bit more paint this time in my water mixture. And I want to walk it out. And it can be choppy on a cork, so don't feel like you have to make it perfect on a cork here. I'm going to darken up this corner right here. And a little bit more up on the edge of the brush, just creating an edge on the cork that we can come back and highlight here in a minute. Okay, that's looking pretty good for the shading on our cork. So at this point, before we add any highlights onto our cork, you can look at it and decide, does it have enough color in it? Does it have enough texture? And I don't think that mine does. So um, I'm going to take some cobblestone here, maybe a little lamp black on the other side. And I'm going to tap a little bit of this in here. I 
I feel like when we shade it over here, we lost a lot of the texture, which is fine. I mean, you know, it's a cork. But I want more back in here. So this is cobblestone. And lamp black, opposite sides of the brush. Actually, I'll just put a little bit of textured lamp black in here. Since this is the darker edge. And they have that shading on there just a tad bit too dark. Okay, that looks that looks better. I like that much better. All right, so now we're going to start adding some highlights onto our cork. So let's mix um, cobblestone and white. We're going to do a one to two mix. That means two white and one cobblestone. And we're going to start creating our highlight edge out here on our cork. I want it to look a little irregular. Two white, one cobblestone. Get some of that moisture out of my brush. I'm going to put some of this along this edge out here. notice too much of that after we put our glass coming across there and then I'm going to just wipe my brush off and I want to go into just straight snow white you can wash your brush off if you have a lot of paint in it but we just want to do straight snow white. If you've got too much of the other color still in your brush, you might want to wash it. Up on the tip toe here, creating a bright highlight on this cork. This is the brightest edge over here. going to go too much further. I might tap a little bit down in here to give it a little bit of texture on the edge. You know, corks aren't perfect. And I think that, that'll do it for the cork. I don't have to do too much. And I think that's good enough for our cork. Um, you can add more layers onto it if you like. Okay, so now I want to bring this color of the jar down and around onto our jar itself. So I used a little bit of Laguna and Ultramarine Blue. I'm going to side load and mix those two colors. Lots of water, nice sheer color. We don't want anything heavy on here. We're going to go across our jar with this color. And I think I want a little bit more of the ultramarine blue in there. Still very sheer. Cross it at the bottom where it 
shows the depth. That's going to be the thickest part of the bottle right there. And I think I prefer using the ultramarine blue. I don't think I have this step in my instructions. I'm going to have to look at it. I want this to be a, a sheer color, so and that's pretty dark. So some of that off. I'm going to take my round brush, get some of that ultramarine blue thinned down, and I'm just going to brush it across here. That's going to be the easiest way to get that on there. Get that look of glass on there. I'm going to come down the edge here. Here. That's the ultramarine blue. It's a very sheer color. Don't don't let it get uh, too bold. This is just our first layer. We don't want to too dark too soon, remember? I need to put some gray here. I see I missed putting some gray right here. Okay. Now I can come in and shade underneath that very sheer. some gray on here. I missed some gray, so let me mix. Start gray. We need some coming up through here. Some nice dark colors on there. Okay, our cork is looking pretty good. Okay, so for now the cork is done. We're going to come back and add highlights to uh, highlight the jar here in a minute. Um, but we want to uh, work another layer onto this. Okay, so you know what your colors were. We had a light gray and a really dark gray, almost black. We had a blue gray mix and um, a little bit darker blue gray mix using your colors. So we're just going to start with, I'm going to use some cobblestone and black to make it a gray value. And we just want to come in and darken. And start defining. Remember we're using sheer layers here. You are form shaping around this jar. And I'm sure this one will not look the same as my other one. There is no way I can paint exactly the same twice. Just doesn't work out that way.
just as long as we get the same effect here that we're going for. Don't get too carried away with these dark colors now. I'm going to wash my brush off. I'm going to grab some ultramarine blue with a little bit of cobblestone or black, something that's going to tone it down. tip you want these nice thin lines here do not get anything too dark or crazy and up here we're going to have some lines that actually go across like this and we can start creating these with the blue but we're going to come back with some white and add some of those in up here needs to come around the jar and this is kind of the back side of the jar here I want to put some dark gray in that area and you can certainly get a detail liner to do these really thin lines up here So this a little bit darker gray in here. All right, I'm going to add some of my Laguna in here now, and I'm going to tone that down with a little bit of mix of that gray and ultramarine blue. I might have toned it down too much. You can see a little bit of that Laguna color coming through. When we add our white in here, that's really going to make a huge difference. So. layers still look pretty yucky <laughs> I think but uh, we're gonna add our white and that's gonna make a huge difference here I can tell that I have my colors darker on this one than I did my first one so um, I know when I paint it again which I plan to I will definitely do much lighter colors all right so we want to start defining the edges of our glass now and we're doing this with the white and I need to put a little bit of 
dark color back in there. And then we have all of these areas here. And I'm sure I don't have placement of my colors in the same place as I did before, but that's okay. And white tends to fade in there quite a bit, so you might have to do this a couple of times. Tippy toe of your brush. It's really important. I'm going to start adding some highlights back in here. And you can dry brush along this edge if you want to. I'm going to take my finger and pull it out a little bit. Give it a little bit of texture. Right here we're going to have quite a bright highlight coming around this way. here. Don't make it solid, you know, give it a little bit of something going on there. so it flows off a little bit better. It's a little brighter through here. Okay, so I want to send a little bit of white paint, and I'm going to add some little wiggle lines through here. Let's get some reflection off of the glass here. Here we're going to have some kind of streaky light reflected up here. I'm going to 
gonna mix some gray real quick before I forget to do this. That dark gray. And some darker gray down through here. here because that's going to have a little bit more of the cork. And then I'm going to grab a little bit of my blues. Maybe a little bit of Laguna down here. of that color. And then just a little bit more white. I think I want ultramarine blue here. sure this has this curve in it so it doesn't look like it's um a separate piece of the jar oops too much water sure that curves around a little bit. Okay. I'll have a highlight across the top and then across the bottle. Some more blue across the top there. Okay, let's add a little bit more color up here on the top. Um, ultramarine blue. Very sheer. I can mix a tiny bit of Laguna in with it. I might even mix a little bit of that gray in with it. Make it a dirty blue color. Oh, we need this darker up through here. Right, take my finger, I want to blur that out. Okay, that 
looks pretty good. I'm going to clean up the background on the top there. bottle and clean up your edges make it shaped nicely don't make it weird shaped still got to finish out that edge there the bottom So I'm not going to finish the highlight on the top until um, we're ready to bring it down the side. I think we're going to go finish the water and we'll come in and do the highlights in here and then we will be ready to do our boat. So for the water down here we're just going to repeat the colors that we did and we did Laguna and some ultramarine blue. I kind of mixed them together for down here, at the lower part. I need to put some darker stuff there. Let me do that real quick. that out because I want to have just mostly Laguna on my brush here. And then grab a little bit of ultramarine because I want a little bit of that back here. And right through here. Put some more lines there. Darken that Laguna just a little bit. Maybe put a little bit of that ultramarine in it. Spread it around. darker down here. Okay, I'm going to grab a detail liner here because I want some um, little dark lines. some other color to it to lighten that up. And 
It doesn't quite look the color I want it to look. Okay, let's put some wash up here on the upper water. That is going to be mostly ultramarine blue. Thin it down. I have to come in here with a little bit more grays. So we can see our separation of water right there. I think my line is straight. <laughs> so we want to highlight on this, but it needs to get a little bit dry. And we're going to do all of our highlighting around the whole project on all the glass at the same time. All right, let's go with some white here and start adding some bright highlights on here. I want to come along the edge of the jar just a little bit. And then down a little bit lower. I have a few little streaks of highlight in here. A streak down this way. right there. Wipe my finger off because I'm getting paint everywhere. A little bit. there and we're gonna have a highlight let me erase this line first we're gonna have a highlight that comes from this corner down kind of showing us the form of the jar on the back side. It's going to have a little bit of blue in it as well. Okay, black still on my brush there. Just a sheer little color. some white. I'm using my four round brush now but you can stay with your smaller detail brush. So let's add some highlights in the water down here. So we want to just touch and add a few little bubbly highlights. waves on the water here. I'm going to 
come in with a little bit um, more of my blue, I think, and darken up. ultramarine blue here. I want this just a little bit darker. ultramarine blue mix down here. You really want to keep these layers as sheer as possible, but um, my other one is a little bit darker and I like a little bit darker. back to our white. We're going to add a highlight. I'm just going to mix with that blue a little bit so it won't be very bright. Just along the edge there. A little bit down here. side of the jar has a little bit of wiggle to it. I need to put some dark in there. So I'm going to grab some ultramarine blue and a little bit of black if I can. And put some blue right through here. A little bit of wiggle and a little bit of jiggle. A little bit up here. I need a little bit more blue here. Okay. That's looking pretty good. I'm going to darken this edge of the blue, I think. a little bit of ultramarine blue and black mix if I can get it on my brush. Alright, let me clean up around my jar. Quite a mess over here. I'll clean up down here. We are going to shade under here, so that will take care of some of this. Our water is looking pretty good. Uh, I'll come back with a little bit more white highlight because it blended in a little bit. With the blue there. We're going to add some water kind of splashing up on the boat here as well. Pretty good. 
I'm gonna add just a few little white dabs down in here. Reflections coming through our water here. Okay, we're starting to look like a jar now. I think it's looking pretty good. So this is where you definitely want to make sure all of your graphite lines around the outside border are completely erased. And this will help you check your shape and make sure that you've gotten your jar shape the way that you want it. Touch up your outside edges. your background color. Make sure everything is shaped nicely. Okay, that has our water finished. So now we're going to work on our sailboat. The bottom of the boat is going to be painted in <clears throat> with, well I put lamp black on there but I'm thinking I may have made a dark gray. I think I painted the bottom lamp black but I made these two things inside here a dark gray. So I will do that. This is just simple base coating filling in. Okay, then my, my mass, I'm going to go to a smaller brush here. I'm going to paint them in with black. So it's just going to be straight down. I'm going to add a little bit of white to my mix here and paint these in. Maybe a little bit more white. Make these parts gray. A medium gray value would be best so that we can maybe shade on them. Make those gray. That's pretty easy to do, and we'll put a second coat on everything when it gets dry here. Let's take some white. I believe I did white on here. Um, I just dry brushed. Let me get some fresh white out. and get moisture out of my brush. My brush is damp, but it's not um, full of water. And I'm just going to touch the edge of that sail and pull back. I 
needs a little bit more moisture in my brush than I would like. I should go down to a smaller brush then I can have a little bit better dragging effect here. This one I'm going to mostly fill. Oh, got some black in there. I'm going to mostly fill this one in. And I'll probably come back and apply a second coat on there. Especially on the outside edge, I want it to fade as it comes in. You want to make sure it's dry. I don't think mine was quite dry. Okay, we're going to add a little highlight onto our mass here with, uh, I believe it's a mix of cobblestone and white. I'm going to take my small round brush here. Um, actually, let's just use cobblestone. Down through here, just kind of drag it. I need to get another layer of black on my boat here. And it just needs to be a thin layer. Of, of a washy black. Fill in those gaps there. Okay, I'm going to grab a smaller brush because I am not going to be able to float those small areas with a big brush. we still got our white stripe to put on our boat, but um, I'm going to highlight on these areas with some cobblestone. here and the top edge of the boat be helpful if I had my white stripe on here which I think I can add that now so you can draw a line a wide line on here if you would want to I'm just going to paint it in and not be too particular. I do want it to follow the shape of the boat here though. It needs to come around a little bit right here. much better. Okay, take my small brush and I'm going to float black along the bottom of these boxes here. Take my round brush and go back to my cobblestone and put that highlight back Cross here. And I'm going to wipe my brush off and go into some white and put some white on here. Oh, I forgot to do the bottom mass. So let me put those on real quick. They come across the bottom down here.
what I would like. But when something like that happens, you just gotta go with it. Okay, while that is drying, I am going to shade on the mat on the um, sails. Now you can shade with um, cobblestone or with the background color. Either one will be just fine. And we're just going to go along this one edge. And this one I just want across the bottom. This will go across the bottom of these. And then a little highlight on our want to add a little bit of water coming up onto the boat so ultramarine blue let me put some fresh of that out or some royal navy i actually think royal navy is what i used in my water down here because my color doesn't quite look the same let me see i actually forgot to put this out on my palette completely or if i did i didn't use it so we want to put some royal navy in here yeah that's what it's missing. That's what it's missing for sure. And a little bit of this in here. We need Royal Navy in this project, so can't believe I forgot that. Huge difference. I won't leave your royal name yet. Okay, um, water. That's where we're at. Water. So I'm gonna grab some royal navy and maybe just a little bit of white. And I'm gonna put a few little or bright. Those are really bright waves. Ooh, get all that water at. boat. And I'm going to grab some white. And put a little bit of highlight on the edges. And just create a few little splashes on there. So now all we need to do is shade underneath the jar. Okay, underneath the jar we're going to go with um, black. I believe is what I used. Way too far over on my brush. I'm going to side load. But I still need water on the opposite side. So I'm going to come in here and start laying in our shadow. Wipe some of that moisture off. Over here it's going to be um, very sheer. And it'll be darker as it comes back here. And this is just a wash right here, starting out. This is just, whoo, or not. Getting some placement for our color. That's going to stay light out there. I'm going to bring some of my base coat color in and, and fade that out down into there. You just need to let the layers dry a little bit. And we're going to bring it out farther onto this uh, down below here. I'm going to dry that so that I can do that. Okay, I'm going to 
side load again with some black. A little bit less water this time. I think I will grab my mop brush if I can find it. I'm going to smooth that out just a little bit. A lot of water in there. Okay. I think I'm going to call that good enough. I'm, I'm, uh, I can bring it out farther here, but I think I'm going to take my base color and blend this out a little bit here. So it's not quite such a hard line right there. Let that dry and it won't be as dark. into this black. Just a little bit. And again, I might have to do that a couple times to really settle that down in there. That's the good thing about having a solid background. As you can... Oh, that paper towel is the wettest paper towel ever. Alrighty, let's try that again. I'm going to go over here where I don't have tons of paint. I think I got paint everywhere. Okay, I think that's going to be pretty good there. Brushes over to be cleaned. I'm going to move everything so I can set this down onto the table here. Okay. That looks pretty good. I, my jar is a little bit darker on this one than on my original one. Um, I'll bring it into the camera shot and maybe we can compare, maybe not. I think I used a little bit lighter colors and kind of forgot my royal blue altogether. So I think that's might be why this looks a little bit different. And I see I have a little bit darker gray through here than I do here. Um, the boats look pretty similar, so I'm happy with that. Let's compare the corks. Pretty close. This one's a little bit darker on this edge, but not too bad. I think overall they both turned out fabulous. The two places that you really want to watch what you're doing is right here. This It needs to look like it connects here, so you have to make just a few lines showing that it connects and same down here it needs to look like it connects otherwise it will look like two separate pieces of glass um, I did not shade I don't think any along the bottom it's all just the paint that we use so we just have the shadow underneath uh, creating the 
depth there and um, this comes out a little bit farther so this could really stand to come out a little bit farther kind of make that just curve a little bit more right there and I like that darker in that other one Ooh, that's black we don't want straight black there Just right here, and this could be just a little bit darker. Ooh, again, too much black. A little bit darker through here. stuff in there. similar. I, I do have my areas down underneath the, the water in the jar darker on my original one. And um, I really like them both. I think they both turned out great. <laughs> 